Good morning, home builders. Today we are on day 27 of the Gospel in You, and we're going to look at an open way to God. Uh, we find ourselves in the book of Luke, where it says, And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a, a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Now in this, it's talking of Jesus' crucifixion, and it specifically mentions, mentions the veil that was in the temple. Uh, this is significant. We, we call this the priesthood of the believer now. It used to be that uh, once a year, uh, the high priest would go into the Holy of Holies behind the veil. Behind the veil was the Ark of the Covenant, and over top of that was the mercy seat. And he would go in on the Day of Atonement, and he would sprinkle the blood representing uh, the people, uh, the, their, their sins to be forgiven, and God's mercy was given to us, and the Ten Commandments were down in the Ark of the Covenant, so it's basically the mercy for breaking the law. And once a year, he was allowed to do that. Well, when the veil was rent, there's no longer a priest that represented us to God and God to us. Now we have Jesus Christ, and through his blood, we can go directly to the Lord. Uh, it was not ripped by man. It was ripped by God. It was torn in two, and this veil was quite significant. It was very large. It was very thick, and there was no way actually man could have done that. Uh, so God rents this veil, and it shows that now we have the ability to go to God in prayer. It tells us in Hebrews chapter 10, having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. So the incredible thing is now we can go directly to God. We don't have to have a priest. I was talking about this with the, with the person on Sunday night, uh, where we have the ability now to go directly to God in prayer. Now, here's the thing. That should excite us. That should be, a, that should be just a wonderful thing in our life. But yet, we live as if that's not true. We don't go to God when we have problems. We try to work them out on our own. We try everything we can to maneuver around before speaking to God. God wants us to come to him in our prayers. He wants us to do it daily. It is a relationship that he wants us to continue to grow. He wants us to go to him with our problems. He wants us to go to him with our joys. He wants us to just have that, that conversation with him on a daily basis. So today's thought is, although all heaven and earth bow before God, you, can, you get to call him your father. And that's awesome. We can go directly to God in prayer. And I hope you've done that today. If you haven't, I encourage you to do it. I encourage you to do that often. And uh, I'll see you guys tonight. Love you. Bye.